Hello, flute people. We are on number 67, the uh, warm-up called Lullaby. And up in our terms and symbols box at the top of this page, you will see a lot of new vocabulary words. And something new that we're going to be doing starting now is that I'm not going to give you that many tempos um, for our songs anymore. I will give you a practice tempo, and then I'll give you the performance tempo based on the tempo assigned by the vocabulary words. So um, we'll hit those vocabulary words as they come up in the tunes in the next four or five tracks, um, as well as these two new vo uh, dynamic indicators, uh, some more volumes for us for more volume le levels, and a new articulation called the accent. And we'll get to all that as it comes up in the songs. So in our first one, 67, um, we have a word that starts over the time signature, and that word's uh, spelled A-N-D-A-N-T-E, again an Italian word pronounced andante, and it means walking tempo and slower than moderato, and we'll get to moderato in a minute. On my metronome, if you can see in the video, it has descriptors of all of these tempo words, all the basic tempo words. Now there's a lot of in-betweener words and we kind of have to guess based on the context of the music and when it was written and what country it comes from, what um, tradition it comes from, what the tempo actually means. And a lot of these tempos were ranges because the metronome didn't come around uh, as a thing until the end of Beethoven's life, um, built by a guy named Maitzel and Maitzel gave his first prototype of a metronome to Beethoven, and Beethoven went back, and instead of all of these words in Italian, he rewrote with MM, meaning Maitzel's metronome, and he would write in 138, or 76, which meant how many beats per minute um, he wanted the players to play. So starting with Beethoven, we have a pretty good idea of how fast or how slow he wanted things. So in Lullaby, um, we are going to go andante, which is slow. And andante for us on my metronome says anywhere from 76 to 104. So we're going to go right at 76. And um, with a lullaby, um, like with all music, it will elicit some sort of biological response with us. So slower music, 70s, 60s, 50s, and lullabies, those are meant to help um, people in general, but especially children, go to sleep. A good resting heart rate for sleep and relaxation is between 50 and 65. So a slow piece of music like this, your body will respond to the tempo and it will slow your heart rate down and it will relax you and help you go to sleep. Um, whereas 120, we call that march tempo. And we call that march tempo because that is the speed at which your body will actively um, walk in that march style and keep tempo. Um, it's a comfortable thing. It's not running, but it's also faster than walking. Um, and then uh, at 160 to 180, um, that's where a lot of the disco music from the late 70s and early 80s was written because that's um, your exercise heart rate range, and that's what's going to get you up and moving around. So a lot of dance music is written up over 150. So our choices in how fast to play different things depend on um, what the intention of the music is and what the style of the music is. So for this one, I'm really only going to play it at the one tempo, which is 76, which is a little um, slower than what we've been doing for these songs. So you're going to get a sense of how this might flow a little bit differently than other songs. Watch out for your slurs, and this one has also a fair amount of skips. Um, not so much stepwise motion, so you're going to have lots of fingers moving in clumps rather than one or two at a time. All right, here we go. 76 beats per minute. One, two, three, four, five, trick with this one is to try and get as open a vocal shape, a vowel shape as you can, O versus E or A, 
the open O or U shape is really going to make this sound nice and wide open. And just for the sake of demonstration, I'm going to go way slow. This is 60 beats a minute. This is the uh, same as one uh, beat per second. And this is really going to help us relax here, I think. Ready? Sometimes it's just as hard to keep your place going slow as it is to keep up with the, your fingers moving uh, when it goes fast. So try that one out. Uh, try to get a nice warm sound on the instrument. And we'll see you uh, for the next one, which is another duet. All right.